I'm sitting here at the Kolsa Maravi a few minutes before uh, Nate Sechama, before the Tefillah start. We've spoken so far in the last two Shirem about the prophetic words of the Gra, and when the Russians go into um, Crimea, it's the bells of Mashiach, the sound um, is coming, the sound of Mashiach coming has started. When they go into Crimea, when they go into um, Istanbul, put on your yantar clothing, we mentioned Ravelli Bear Vaktvogel, he's already put on his Syantif clothing. And uh, we want Mashiach to come. So we want Mashiach to come. And we want not only Mashiach to come, but we want to be from the ones who greet Mashiach. And we mentioned, Moshe Sternbach said, just like in Mitzrayim, a fifth will come out. A fifth came out, right? So too, in the Gula Lassa level, a fifth will come out. Chazal tell us how we could be saved. And it's his Askus Betorang Mosasadam. We mentioned that from Rav Sternbach that the Sar of Russia is Dubiel. Dubiel is like a dove. Amida, the Gemara in Kedushan says, the Amida of the dove is they have no rest. And Mina Kenegin Mina, measure for measure, if we want to be saved from Heaven and Mashiach, we have to have no rest. No rest in turn means complete involvement, without stop, without interruption. What is his Askos Gemilas Chasadim? That's much more difficult to be doing Gemilas Chasadim 24 7. There's a Yid named um, Peretz Rottenberg. Peretz Rottenberg. He's here at the coastal every every week. He he, he gives a suda for 200 people. He's one of the most biggest Bali Chesed I've ever met in my life. I don't think there's one second he's not involved with, with Chesed. He's a Merkava of Chesed in the world. But what about the rest of us? What about the rest of us? Can't do Chesed 24-7, or can we? Harei Chazal tell us that if we want to be Nitzel, if we want to um, be Nitzel from Chavim Mashiach, if we want to walk up that ramp towards the base of Megdash when it's built, and be entering the base of English. We need his askus of Gemilas Chasadim. We spoke about his askus with Torah, and how your women don't have a mitzvah of Talmud Torah. They have a mitzvah to learn Torah, but not a mitzvah of Talmud Torah. His askus with Torah is primarily for men who are misaskik, misaskik, who have a mitzvah of Talmud Torah. What does it mean, his askus of Gemilas Chasadim? So if David Cohen told me, his askus of Gemilas Chasadim means to care about people. I right, care about people, and that's something we could do 24 7. Right? Hooray, we're surrounded by people. Uh, we, we go to shul, uh, we walk in the streets, they're people. Um, we go to work, or we go to kail, they're people. We um, go to classes, they're people. Right? We're always around people. A woman's at home, she has children, um, she has her husband, um, she has family. There's people all the time, all around people. His askus bimos chasadim says Rav David Koyin, is, is, is caring about people. Caring about people. And that's Gemilas Chesed, we can do 24-7. We can't do Chesed 24-7 because we have a physical body. We're not all like Peretz Rottenberg, who's every single second doing Maisa Chesed. Right? We are unlimited in the amount of Chesed we could do. Or are we? If we care about people, that's called this Askas Gemilas Chesed. And remember again, the Gemarian Kedushan that Fine Bay says, do, the dove, the meter of the dove, which the Marshal says, that's the meter of, of Dubiel, the Tsar of Dubiel, which is the Tsar of Russia, which is empowered, has extra power now, and that's why the Russians are fighting this war. That Tsar is, is, is characterized by a dove. The characteristic of a dove is this no manucha. If we want to be from the fifth, that are Nitzel and Heavenly Mashiach, we have to be like a dove. We have to have no manucha. In Tur, that means complete involvement. In Gemil's Chasadim, that means caring about people. By caring about people. Now, when you do a Maisa Chesed with your body, so your body is doing Chesed, that's a beautiful thing. But when you do caring about people, yeah, so you're inviting your mind and your heart, which is your Neshama and your and your Ruach, and your Nefesh. The, the body, the physical body is the Nefesh. But the Ruach is the emotions and the speech, and the Neshama is the thoughts. When you're caring about people, and how do you care about people? I'll give you one famous example. I've said that so many times. I'll say it again. My friend, Rav Dov Brizak, was walking down the street. Chov Givat Shal, he saw, and like he always does, he said good morning to, to somebody in the street. He saw the guy look depressed. He went back to him, yeah? And he says, is everything all right? Um, can I help you? The person was on his way to commit suicide. And Baruch Hashem, he stopped him. That's caring about people. A person who cares about people can stop um, stop suicide. And he can save people's life. Because I'll tell us, Godel Malbim Shenaim Michalu Chalov. It's better. It's bigger to smile at someone than to feed a milk. Well, Shim Shem Pinkus told me, milk keeps a baby alive. 
milk is the life-sustaining food for a baby. Bigger than that is a smile. Because when you smile at someone, you make them feel good. You make them feel important. You make them feel like the smile came because of you. Right? When someone, I see someone smiling, I'm saying, why? And they're looking at me, say, they're smiling because of me. If I smile at somebody, I make them feel good. I make them feel like I'm smiling because of them. If I smile at everybody, I make everybody feel good. You know, Rasul Salanter was once walking and he saw somebody um, looking um, with a sour puss. Yeah, he looked, he had a frown on his face. And he said, you're a boy of Rishul Sarabin. You're making everyone feel bad. You have no right to do that. A boy of Rishul Sarabin is a dangerous entity, right? Said of David Koyin, his askus begimilus chasadim, yeah, is caring about people and expressing your care with positive words, with, with, with your, your smile and other um, expressions of care. We could do that 24-7. You could be doing with everything else, but if you care about people, then you will, um, then you will, that's his ask of the son. A person who really cares about people will be Nitzel, I have to say, the Rav David Koyin, I was Zoycha for many, many years to be in a sukkah and sukkahs before uh, Corona. The past two years, he hasn't had the open house sukkah, but he would have thousands of people coming into a sukkah. He knew everyone's name. He knew everyone's issue, and he would ask them what's happening. Oh, Shmuel, um, how's your grandmother doing? She was very sick. I'm, I'm doubting for her. Oh, Yankel, how's your son doing? I, I remember he was having trouble in, in Cheder, right? Oh, Yaakov, you know, you're running safer. How's it going? Uh, can I help you at all with it? Can I give you a letter? Rav David Koyin is the Leiva Am. Yeah, Rav, da- Rav Shach said that he's the Gadol for the next generation. He's the Semo, right? As is Rev Gershon Edelstein. Rev Gershon Edelstein, all the time, all the sheets, is always talking about one thing, caring about people. If you care about people, this is the key to being Nitzel, Nichevli Mashiach. I want to finish with one very, very deep idea from the Maral. The Maral is on this Gemara in Sanhedrin, Daf Sadi Chesim and Beis, that talks about Chevli Mashiach, right? And he says like this, he says, Ki kol shine ein sham menucha klau, right? He's explaining why Dubiel, He's explaining why Dubiel, right? The Tsar of um, the Tsar of Pras, which we today is the Tsar of Russia. What it's it's why is that going to be the characteristic of Mashiach, right? Um, that the Dove has no menuch at all, right? And says the um, says the Maral because in order for a change, um, in order for a change to happen, there has to be no menuch. He says the ultimate change is Mashiach coming. That's why you need Hevli Mashiach. Chavala means, says the Maral, whenever you have a new Mahalach coming in, yeah, a change, you need to have destruction, right? Destruction. You know, they're building all over you, Shalim, the train, you're, going, you're driving in a car, you know, this is ta- being taken down, that's being taken, they're digging up the streets, they're digging tunnels, they're making tracks, yeah? It's a change. When there's a change, there's no Manucha, right? Says the Maral, the greatest change that's going to be is Mashiach coming. There's going to be a new world order. It's going to be totally different. And therefore, there's no Manucha cloud. And that's why the Tsar, which is going to enter in, which is going to, um, which is going to harbor, harbor, which is going to bring in the Mashiach, is the Tsar of Dubiel. Right? Dubiel is now in power. It's been empowered. We see that from the Russian invasion. We see that Russians are becoming more powerful. We see that there's a Sikhsukh. There's, there's a, a, a dispute between the Prime Minister of Turkey and, and Putin. We see that all the pieces are in place. There's one piece left. Right? Say Chazal. His askus If you want to bring the Mashiach, if you want to be part of bringing the Mashiach, we have to be misask. It means when you learn Torah, everything, nothing else exists. And when you're going throughout your day, care about people 24-7, right? You want to make a small cabal on yourself, take five minutes a day, just think about people. Think about what you can do for other people. Turn your own will off completely. Just think, what can I do for my wife? What can I do for my children? What can I do for my students? What can I do for my friends? What can I do for my family? What can I do for the guy who sits next to me in shul? Right? How's he doing? How are people doing? How are they feeling? The guy in the street looks down. Say good morning to him. Smile to him. Make him feel good. All of these are methods. All of these are are important steps in being nitzel. You want to walk up this ramp to the base of English Bazaar Hashem soon? Yeah? You have to be misasik. Right? And we said, Dubiel is the bear has no menuch at all. If you want to be from the people who are going to walk up that ramp um, up to the base of Megdash, we have to strengthen ourselves in this mida of his askus. We all could do it. We all could be from that fit, right? Who are makabal. Of course, 
it sounds a little bit, uh, um, doesn't sound accurate, right? If it's only a fifth, how could be everyone, right? Anyone could be from that fifth. You make the choice around the fifth. And I'll conclude with this statement I heard from Rav Sternbach many times, just like by Pinchas. Pinchas got up, he took a spear, and he saved the whole Jewish nation. Said Rav Stern, and the Gula was called in his name. The, the Hatzol of Pinchas was called in his name. So too, in the Gula Lesser Lovo, right? Rav Sternbach said, Hashem was waiting for one thing. He's waiting for one pu'ula, one gul. And that's going to be the chasimah samashiach. That's going to be the act that ushers Mashiach in. That could be anybody, anybody listening to this year. You could be the one who brings Mashiach in. You're a chesed. You're caring about people. Like you could save your life, someone's life, like Reb Rizek did, right? You could be the one, right? And I said this once in a year. A woman wrote back to me. She said, I want to be the one. And you can be the one. It's in your hands to make that choice. Reach deep into your hearts. When you learn Torah, cut everything off. And when you're with people, care about them. Think only about them and not about anyone else. When you're davening, turn yourself off. Don't think about your lunch or what you're doing. Don't even think about your learning. Think just about a Kaddish Baruch Hu. Just think about Hashem. Hashem should give us the greatest siyat of the Shemaya. We should see a fruition of the Groh's uh, predictions that, um, okay, you know, we don't know what's going to happen with Russia. We see the fruition of the Groh's predictions that Mashiach should come quickly in our days. Amen. Cain, Yehi, Ratzon.